Live long and prosper. Is there a more famous TV gesture than the Vulcan salute? Leonard Nimoy, who popularized the gesture in his role as Mr. Spock on the 60s TV series Star Trek, both lived long and prospered before dying at the age of 83. In an age where the word is overused, the half-man, half-alien was truly an iconic character. Pointy ears, upturned eyebrows, bowl haircut, maddeningly logical, frustratingly dispassionate. You'd make a splendid computer, Mr. Spock. That is very kind of you, Captain. Star Trek was canceled after three seasons, shocking for how famous it's become. And Nimoy went on to star in the show Mission Impossible and hosted In Search Of, a series that investigated mysteries and paranormal phenomena. It was here that the modern quest would begin for the tomb of Tutankhamun. He also had a memorable role as a psychiatrist in the 1978 remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The following year, he and his fellow Star Trek crew would go on to star in the first of six feature films based on the series, two of which Nimoy directed. Anyone who's ever been defined by a single accomplishment can understand why Nimoy was at points ambivalent about his legacy. This was a man who wrote two autobiographies and cheekily titled them I am not Spock, and I am Spock. But Nimoy truly embraced the role, turning in many cameos that traded on his character. Hello, I'm Leonard Nimoy. The following tale of alien encounters is true, and by true, I mean false. He appeared in both the Star Trek reboot and its sequel, and happily attended fan convention after fan convention. James T. Kirk. To paraphrase one of the franchise's most famous, and come on, moving scenes, Leonard Nimoy was, and always will be, Mr. Spock. Live long and prosper.